Uh, looking forward, hopefully, to seeing some uh, youth yeah. getting bedded in. Um, and hopefully, we don't see Hanley and Duffy at centre back. Yeah. Um, do you know what? It's just it's one of those for me today. It's like another pre-season game. Yes, I'd like a bit of a cup run. Yeah. But the league's the most important thing, and I think we just need to find a bit of form for the league. So hopefully, we'll be able to do that today. Do you think the result on Saturday has put a bit more pressure to to get one today? Um. To be fair, I think there's pressure on any game yeah. here yeah. to go out and to perform and to get a result. I think, no, I don't think the, the result, I think the performance has. Yeah. We're going to lose football matches. Yeah. I haven't been a Norwich fan long enough to know <laughs> that we're going to lose football matches. But that was just the manner in which we lost on Saturday, which has put the pressure on them. But they've done it to themselves. They, they, were, they were on the pitch on Saturday. They've put that performance in. Yeah. So they're the ones that have got to go out and rectify it. Yeah, it's been a busy uh, few days, lots of big news, but perhaps the biggest news is the fact that Mark Atanasio looks like he's going to take over as, or his group are going to take over as sole uh, majority shareholders. What, what's your reaction to that news? Do you think it's we've, good news for the club? We've, we've talked in the past and I said I thought it was time for Delia to go. I think it is. Yeah. I'm not going to be one of those that says she's stayed on for 10 years too long, possibly two years. The football has changed. Yeah. But at the end of the day, she's brought the club into a position to where someone has come in yeah. and, and has took it over. I've, I've had the pleasure of meeting Mark and speaking to him. He's learning football. I think he'll be a very good owner. Yeah. Do I think he's going to throw a, a shed load of money at us? No. Yeah. But I think he's got the right ideas. I'm a little bit of a baseball nerd, so <laughs> I was a Yankees fan, and but I've looked more into the obviously the Brewers as soon as he came in and what he's managed to achieve there. Yeah. They're the smallest team in the MLB with the smallest budget, the smallest market, and they regularly make the playoffs and, and, and challenge. I mean, they've got two of the biggest teams in MLB in their division. Yeah. They have to they have to beat regularly to make the postseason. So. Yeah, I'm all for it, and I'm really looking forward to what he's going to do. Yeah, a lot of the knock-on of, of what fans have been talking about from that news are transfers. There's almost too much mm. for me to reel off at you now. Yeah. Just generally looking at the, the sort of recruitment picture, how positive slash negative are you feeling for Norwich? I think um, Gabby was the obvious one that was always going to yeah. bring the money in. I'd probably, in an ideal world, had it, had it done earlier. Yeah because he played a lot of minutes in pre-season and he looked like a bit of a, a creative spark, but I, I, I mean, 20 million quid, you can't argue at it. I think eight and a half, nine and a half for either. Yeah. I'd take that all day long, as long as we replace him, which hopefully we will do. Um, and then the, 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 the fly in the ointment, um, <laughs> whether he gets his move that he wants or whether he has to go and learn a bit of hubris, um, I, I personally, I'd see him gone. But yeah. We're going to get the money that we need. We don't have to. <clears throat> we don't have to sell him for, you know, tuck and take me. Yeah. We, we, we've made money on Gabby. We've made a lot of money up with Adams, pre, pre profit because he came through the yeah. academy. So he'll go for the right price, and if he doesn't, he can go and spend a year playing under 21s football. Yeah. And just to finish with, can I have a score prediction for today's game? Uh, two 0 I feel quite confident, to be honest. Yeah. I feel like we're going to win. Yeah. Do you think there's a bit of extra pressure on, on them to win tonight after what happened at the weekend? Yeah. 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 And the bad news of Delia. Yeah, with that bad news for you, do you think? I think uh, it's good news. Yeah. Because we need someone to spend some money. Yeah. And bring the club up to, you know, the standard. Yeah. And, but obviously, 27 years yeah, is a long time. Does it feel like a bit of a new era once that sort of goes through? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just hope it's not just going to be like a money-making thing. I yeah. hope it's just going to be, you know, we need to, we need players. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah. put up the team. Bring yeah. Up, yeah. What, up what do you make of the transfer situation as it currently is? Obviously, Jonathan Rowe now training with the under-21s, Gabriel Saragon, Adam Eder looks like he... he He's going to move on to Celtic. Are you hoping to see a good few signings now between now and the end of the window? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which positions do you think they need to add in the most? Maybe like 
I think we need striker. Yeah. 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 Maybe uh, right wing. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to replace Sarah. Yeah. You know. But yeah, we'll see. Really. Yeah. Obviously today's a Carabao Cup game. How do you look at that compared to the league? Are you are you that bothered about the cup or or is it just yeah, about the league? It's still important. Yeah. Because you'll get to the you know, if you get to the final Carabao Cup it's gonna be against a premiership side. Yeah, of course, yeah. And yeah, it'll be a good thing for Norwich to be playing against them. Yeah. Um yeah. Can I have a couple of score predictions for today's game? Uh, 4 1. Nice 2 1. Stuff. Hopefully, the young players um, do a better job than what they did at Oxford last week. Yeah. Uh, Saturday. So. Yeah, do you think it puts a bit more pressure on, on this one, the fact that they lost the first game of the season at Oxford? Uh, I think the fans will expect a win. Yeah. So, possibly a bit more pressure, yeah. Yeah, you, you mentioned young players there. Does that mean you're hoping to see quite a lot of changes from Torup and some opportunities given to those yeah. players? Uh, people like come back from injury as well, uh, getting a full game. Yeah. Obviously, it's a cup game this evening. How important are cups to you, or would you rather just focus on the league? Um, uh, I think probably focus on the league but yeah good for the youth to get yeah, some true. experience so yeah. can I have a score prediction for today's game uh 2-0 Norwich it's a decent performance going forward but I think defensively we could have done a little bit better I think set pieces were shocking yeah. and zonal work marking probably doesn't work for us but it's nice to see a couple of the young lads on the pitch Brad Hills in particular looked good in the, at the yeah. back uh Warner looked at he could have been a little bit more composed, but other than that, I'd say it was pretty good. Do you think you um, saw more of the signs maybe of the football that Norwich are trying to play in terms of that possession-based style? I think the philosophy definitely came through a little bit during the match, and it was nice to see some of the long balls diagonal across the pitch, which yeah. we've not seen before. Under Wagner, we didn't see much of that, yeah. um, and that was promising to see. Yeah. Where does it leave you going into the weekend? Do you feel more confident about that, or after conceding three fairly poor goals? I think... I think they're positives to take, yeah. but they're also very soft defensive errors which yeah. need to be ironed out. Um, but yeah, positives to take going forward. Were there any individuals that impressed you especially? Borger again, always brilliant. Yeah. Um, and the new sign and Fawson was brilliant on the ball. His composure is so nice to see. Yeah. Um, something that Sarah brought last season and it's nice to see that we will have that going into the new season as well. Do you think they've given Torup a lot of decisions to make in terms of his team selection for the weekend? I do, and I think the Johnny Rowe obviously doesn't help with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think there's a lot to think about. Brad Hills has to start for me yeah. every week, and maybe yeah, that's that's about it. Yeah. It's great game. Yeah. 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 Really yeah. Great game. Yeah. Yeah. Some good football at times. Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was very exciting. I mean, last half, half an hour, no one was paying attention. Yeah. Uh, inside, no, like, especially in the bar. Yeah. I feel yeah. like yeah. the bar was just a rough one today. Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it the sort of performance that you think Norwich needed after Saturday and what went wrong oh, at yeah, Oxford? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's a goal. Yeah. 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 I feel like it's pumped the team up a bit. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I feel like the, the home crowd stand up for them. So. Yeah. Did you feel like you could see a few more signs of what Johannes Hoftorup is, is trying to do rather than maybe Oxford where it didn't feel like you could see that style coming through much? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I, feel like, I feel like he's done very well. I feel like he's done the team up really yeah. well. So I feel like he's, he's doing well. Yeah, do you feel like he's got a few selection issues now and a few players who will be pushing for a start on Saturday? Yeah, I think he's got a hard choice of players to start now. Yeah. He's got yeah. a lot of squad depth, obviously, in defence. I think maybe uh, yeah. Brad Hill is, he's, he's always class. I feel like give him a chance in the league and he'll prove his point. Yeah. yeah, were there any un other individuals that impressed you today? Awesome. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Do you think he, he will be an adequate replacement for Sarah in time, maybe? Yeah. I, feel like over, I feel like over time he can, he can do yeah. Hard. Yeah. And how much can you apply this result to the Championship, given it was against League One opposition? Does it give you more confidence going into sort of the weekend? It's definitely given us more. Yeah. A win over, over, of course, on a cup game yeah it's gonna go to the team hopefully so uh, yeah all yeah. good yeah good? yeah yeah could have played a bit better but yeah playing some iffy balls yeah <laughs> oh, great, actually. did you see a few more signs of the sort of attacking football that Norwich are trying to play oh, yeah. than maybe there was at the weekend a lot more attacking but they're playing way too much from the back yeah 
Yeah. Would, you, would you like to see them get it forward a little bit quicker? Yeah, yeah. A bit more forward, but. Yeah. They won, they played. I'll say yeah. they played the best. Yeah. Played better. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously today was against League One opposition. Does it give you more confidence going into the championship or do you think it was down to who they played a lot? A lot more. Yeah. And what about the, the defensive issues? Is that is that a worry for you now? The own goal was. Yeah. <laughs> the own goal was a bit... Yeah. A bit, a bit terrible. Yeah. Uh, were there any individuals that, that especially impressed you today or disappointed you today? Uh, the Parson. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's good to see him. Yeah, getting... he played well. Yeah. Would you like to see Hernandez maybe back in the starting eleven? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. He's got a stamina to keep up. Yeah.